What'd you think? Because we're doing a tabletop only video? You get away from the coffee? No, sir. Black coffee. That's what we do here. And we do other things too. Welcome back to Cactical Maine. Gentlemen, before we get on, black coffee. That's the only way you can drink it. You can't be putting milk in that crap. All right, enough with the coffee. Before we get on with the video, gentlemen, uh, for those of you who support the channel, I appreciate it. If you want to support the channel, you click on one of the affiliate links in the description down there. It's underneath the wood, the thick wood somewhere. And uh, that helps support the channel, guys. Amazon, a lot of you are already using the Amazon link. Helps me out. Helps me get more pow pow pew pews and gear and stuff to review for the channel. Because remember, I am a small channel. People don't just willy-nilly send me all kinds of the greatest things in the world. So your support is greatly appreciated. If you want to support me on Patreon, it's in the link down below. Uh, again, as I always say with Patreon now that I've set one up, don't expect anything extra. I don't have time for it. That's why I never set one up in the past. But if you want to support the channel, it's there for support. Thank you. Let's get on with the show. What does that C stand for? Cutter? No, sir. Savivi. Savivi, what is you? What is you? What is you had gone down did was? Savivi? What's this? What's this carbon fiber you got? When when did Savivi start doing these and carbon fiber and all this awesomeness? What? What is that? Savivi, you done did it. You done did Damascus. Looking good. Gentlemen. Civivi Elementum Damascus Carbon Fiber. All right, let's 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 back up just a little bit. The the scales are actually G10 with carbon fiber uh, overlay or inlay, one of the two. So this whole thing is not carbon fiber. But dudes, this right here is a sweet knife. Today we're gonna be taking a quick look at the Civivi Elementum Damascus. Um, all I can say is uh, yeah, we're taking a quick look. I've had this knife for two weeks now. Um, I've been carrying it. We can we can look at the the clip. You can see we got some wear and tear. Not tear, but we got some wear on the on the belt clip or the pocket clip, as you would say. Deep carry. This clip is awesome. It just stays in. I'm not gonna be rolling in any fancy back uh, B-roll footage in this one, gentlemen. It's just doing a tabletop to show you that this knife exists and how awesome it is. Uh, Damascus version, $89, readily available, um, but I'm not sure if it's a limited sprint run or anything like that, uh, but if, you, if you're into it, I would swoop one up, guys. This thing is sweet. Um, the standard steel, I think it's D2 tool steel version, is $49, um, and I'm, I'm working on picking one of those up as well, because this, this thing is just sweet. To get some specs out of the way, your blade is at on or about 2.9 i think it's 2.9 and 2.96 inches somewhere along those parts so if you live in an area where your a three inch and over blade is illegal guess what you can carry this elementum this thing is and it, man look at the profile on this blade this thing comes wicked sharp we're not going to stay in focus for you to be able to see that it is a flipper blade right deployment detent is sweet Flips out, it does not free fall, okay? You're not gonna free fall, but then again, I've yet to take it apart and, and oil it up. Um, but it it just, you gotta, you gotta cork it or shut it yourself. No free fall, it's not a zero tolerance, you know. You can flip it, you can flip it shut, uh, but it does need that. But other than that, gentlemen, and, but the whole time, it is extremely smooth. I've been flipping the crap out of this thing more so than my uh, ZT0450. See this thing, I mean, just free falls. That's butter, but that's $200. This non-Damascus version is $49 with a decent tool steel. And then obviously Damascus, well executed. Look at that, I like that pattern. That is, to me is just, Sassy. Look at her. Look at her and all her glory. Oof. Look at that knife. But yes, let's let's look at the grip in the hand. Um, I've got rather large hands. I wear a large glove. I can't. I'm getting used to this. Here we go. I wear large hands. 
and you can see where it is right at my pinky um, and you do have a tiny little troll that you can choke up on if you need to get some precision you got jimping on the back of the blade which is if i can get that back in focus the perfect amount of sharpness it is perfect it's not too sharp or it it'll chew your skin up but it is enough to give you grip if you do need to choke up on the blade at all sweet daggone pocket knife two weeks i've been carrying it uh the first thing I did with it was cut some paper. Let me set that down and find a sheet of paper. I've been opening boxes nonstop with it, and everyone is always questioning boxes, dudes. Opening Amazon boxes, how does that test the blade? You would be surprised how quickly a cheap blade will dole out just opening boxes. See how sharp she is. It's been few weeks but th my angle is not right because of the camera but let's just see oh yeah I don't know if that caught that um, here it is she's still sharp this is a good steel I don't know off the top of my head exactly what steel they use for the Damascus but it is good it's been holding its edge puts a ZT 0450 next to it for size reference you can see um, I guess that's called height height-wise, the Elementum is a taller system. Uh, width, they look to be pretty close in the width, gentlemen's. Length, they're pretty close in the overall handle length. Looks almost even. Let's deploy them, them blades. Totally different blade profiles on these two. I'm going to tell you, right now, this is my favorite knife ever made on the planet that I've ever owned. Granted, I have not owned every single blade on the planet, but this one is my favorite. I've been carrying it every day, except for the last two weeks because I've been carrying this. This right here, gentlemen's. I love it. And you can see the blade length. So this one's under three inches. This joker's not going to... It's questionable. It's questionable. You see how far out she's sticking here. So, again, if you had that three-inch law, this is a good, this is a good blade, gents. The ZT0450 obviously is a wonderful EDC, but not everybody has $200 to drop on an EDC knife that they're going to use and abuse. A lot of people buy this knife and they safe queen it. I use and abuse this knife. I just wanted to test it out. Carried it every day for going on almost two years now. This right here, I do believe, I don't know, the Damascus version, people might safe queen it. I'm not safe cleaning it, but I am. The wife is constantly trying to steal this from me. She loves this knife. Um, I am going to be getting the standard D2 version, and we'll see uh, how that works. Now, I'll also bring that before you, gentlemans. I love this knife. It is the absolute, to me, again, this is subject to everyone. This is the absolute perfect size for EDC. You throw this joker in your pocket, you don't even realize it's there. You don't. Sometimes you forget it's there until you, uh, you're you getting undressed for the evening and your, your pants hit the floor and clunk. You're like, oh, what was that? It was your knife. Empty your pockets, fool. The carbon fiber itself, I keep going the wrong direction, scale is very, very smooth, guys. Like, so slippery. If your hand, this is the one con. If your hands are wet and you go to flick this open, it is going to fly right out of your hands so i was like is my zt you know it's carbon fiber on one side is it just as slippery as that so i brought it out and i'm taking a look at it now i don't know if the camera will focus for one if it's going to catch it probably not i can't tell in the viewfinder if it's catching it but here let me run my finger across it can you hear it? Can you hear that? The carbon fiber around each square is raised up just a little bit. Now, I don't know. I cannot remember if that's the way it came from the factory or if over time the center little lighter squares wore down and left the ridges there. But this has plenty of grip on it. You're not going to drop this. 
this mamma jamma. Now there's some spots where the lighter squares on this, some spots where the lighter squares look like they're trying to do the same thing the ZT is doing. So it might be where, I don't know, you carbon fiber experts out there, let me know. But as of yet, two weeks of carrying this thing, this is smooth. You're gonna, wet hands, you're gonna drop it. You know what, I got my ZT0452 here. And that one has some texturing, but it's nowhere near as much as the 450. So I'll keep an eye on that and I'll update Gentleman's. Look how, look how small it is as a baby compared to this one. That's just a beast. So I'll keep an eye on it, Gentleman's, and I'll update uh, through Instagram or community post if this does, in fact, get a little more, um, what's the word? texture to it because right now whoo she is a slippery that's my only con with the carbon fiber version they have s35 vn out there which i do believe they're sold out i wish i would have got one of them that's fine i like this one and i'm gonna get the d2 all right gentlemen i gotta go i've been talking forever this is supposed to be a quick first look see you in the next video gents and ladies bye bye